Hi, I'm Pete Van Deventer with Synapse Sense Corporation out of Folsom, California. Why don't you give us a little bit of an overview about uh, Synapse Sense for our readers who aren't already familiar with your product? Sure. Synapse Sense has developed an energy efficiency platform that's based on environmental and energy monitoring and management for the data center. How are the, some of the ways that folks are using your, your products? Sure. Customers use our product in three different primary ways. First and foremost, they use it for uh, environmental monitoring, and they use the environmental monitoring uh, software and hardware, which includes a variety of wireless instrumentation devices, uh, to measure subfloor pressures, uh, rack thermals, craw uh, efficiencies and thermal conditions, humidity conditions, uh, and with that, they're able to optimize the data center environment, uh, starting with the subfloors, working their way through the room, and reducing their energy efficiency consumption by increasing set point temperatures, uh, turning off crawl units, uh, increasing uh, water temperatures from the chilled water plant as well. So it, it seems to me that as a, lot, as a lot of the data centers are starting to look at energy efficiency, that this is then driving them to look at their data collection, their monitoring, uh, and how, how are you working with these companies? How is this uh, sort of uh, uh, helping Synapse Sense? Sure. So we're working with companies in three different ways. First is in the environmental monitoring to help optimize the data center footprint that they have. Second is in energy efficiency management and providing them with an energy management platform that allows them to measure and monitor their PUE or DCIE. And third is the ability to do adaptive controls to automatically manage the cross systems based on the environmental conditions of the room. So uh, a couple of things there. Uh, is uh, you know, most of your business now, you, you're doing a lot of retrofits with people that are trying to get their arms around the, the, the current conditions, uh, doing a lot of new builds. Where do you, you see a lot of your, uh, uh, a lot of your implementation? So uh, primarily, we have been doing uh, retrofits just because we were a newer technology over the last year or so. But now we're getting into new builds. Uh, and, uh, and the market is expanding from your standard enterprise and government customer base into the colos uh, and across the entire data, se uh, data center segment. Um, currently, we, you know, we, we service and sell into a very wide variety of different vertical markets, uh, ranging from defense and media and entertainment and finance, and go on down the list. Uh, you talked about some of the interesting ways that uh, your clients are using the information to kind of improve the efficiency of your data center. I'm real interested in, in you mentioned the, uh, uh, the adaptive use of it. Talk a little bit, uh, tell us a little bit about, uh, uh, about how that works and, and how people are using it. Sure. So, so that's, uh, those programs are in development with some major accounts right now. And what we're doing is helping manage the, uh, the crawl unit environmental conditions uh, and the subfloor pressures based on the pressure and the inlet temperatures. Um, there are other algorithms that are proprietary on how we manage that specifically. Uh, to control the environmental conditions in the room. But the idea is you want to have an adaptive system that is constantly fine-tuning itself because what you really want to do is you want to manage your data center like a system. Um, if you take a look at a server, for example, a server is a system. It has heat sources, fans, and you know the server vendors have managed the server like a system. Data centers have been a different animal. They've got 30-year facility infrastructures. They have a constantly changing IT infrastructure. And what we've done is we've created a platform that lets you manage that data center like a system and start to bring it all together into an optimization platform. So is a, how is the awareness of uh, just monitoring and managing uh, playing out at, in terms of companies that you know, may not have huge data, data center operations where there's sort of an acute need for this. Um, is this working its way down? What, what's your sense of the awareness of, of, of monitoring and, and, and managing and, uh, and who's using it at this point? I think it's, uh, it's ramping rapidly. I think I've seen data over the last few weeks actually that showed that uh, energy efficiency and monitoring are two of the top three purchase criteria for 2010. Uh, all data center managers generally are now starting to put it into, into their budget, some type of monitoring system, because it is the baseline platform. If you want to optimize and make the most use of the data center space you have, the real estate, the power, uh, and the IT loads, you need to have a system that lets you baseline and manage that space optimally. And so what we're seeing is we're seeing a wide variety of customers, ranging from very small, uh, almost closet-sized customers, all the way up to the largest enterprises, um, with very large footprints. Uh, they're all looking to start doing optimization programs. They're out checking out the different vendors. They're looking at the different technologies. 
and they're making decisions and, and we're seeing a, a ramp happening quite rapidly into the marketplace of people that are trying to optimize their space and we think we've got the best tool to do that. Um, let me ask about regulation. There's a lot of possibilities out there. How does that play into your marketplace? Sure. Um, you know, right now there's uh, limited regulations in the United States. There's discussion about the carbon tax and the, and the cap and trade type systems. Um, they certainly would benefit our business because they're going to put more requirements into measuring and managing your carbon footprint. And our technology is fundamentally, a, a, you know, not only is it an optimization tool, but it's an auditing tool. It lets you measure all the time and audit your before and afters. So from a business perspective, we would see an increase in demand as we see uh, an increase in federal regulation or state regulation around carbon footprint. On the other side of the coin, what we're seeing is we're seeing a very positive momentum around the utilities. And we're working with a number of utilities on rebate programs, working with customers to get discounts based on the different rebate activities that are available from the utilities. And that's helping pay the bill for some of these customers to go and take on the, uh, the monitoring and the uh, optimization programs. And you sell direct, but you also have, uh, are working with some partners on, uh, uh, on uh, selling uh, the SynapseSense products, correct? Yes, we do. We have, uh, we have about 15 resellers around the country that we work with that are uh, both service and product partners. And then we also have an OEM partnership uh, with HP. Um, what's your sense of what the, the next year is going to look like uh, for, for SynapseSense? What, what are the, the kind of things you're looking at in terms of... Uh, uh, looking forward in, in terms of what the, the needs and requirements are going to be in the data center in, in your niche? Well, we think uh, more and more customers are going to start baselining their, their facilities. They're, they're, they want PUE. They want branch circuit monitoring. They want intelligence on power at the rack, for example, knowing exactly what's going on. Um, the data center pressure uh, on operators is growing. The, you know, the, the requirements to put more footprint, to make do with what they have, the CIO is getting involved, as is the CFO, who doesn't want to spend $2,000 to $3,000 a square foot on a new data center unless they know they've absolutely optimized the one that they have. And so we believe there's going to be a pretty big momentum base around optimizing the space that you have. And then we also think there's a bit more, um, you're seeing more partnerships happening with the bigger vendors uh, and alignments taking place as they're jockeying for positions between the big names in the IT world and the facilities world. Okay, great. Pete, listen, thanks for talking with us. Thanks very much.